The Japanese government and Tokyo Electric Power Company say they have stabilized the crippled reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, but problems continue with the system for purifying contaminated water. In a joint assessment, the government and TEPCO say they have completed the first step of a plan outlined in mid-April for a complete coal shutdown of the reactors. They say they completed the first step within the original three-month deadline. The assessment adds that reactors 1, 2, and 3 have been stably cooled down and that nitrogen has been injected into their containment vessels to prevent hydrogen explosions. Pools of spent nuclear fuel are also stable. The government and TEPCO say radiation levels in the surrounding air and seawater have been declining, and the goal of reducing the amount of radiation leaking outside the plant has been achieved. But the crisis is far from over. The assessment admits that contaminated water has leaked out of storage tanks, and that water level settings at its water purification facilities were incorrect. There's never been a time there are new complications in the effort to get the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant under control. Nitrogen is being injected into the number three reactor's containment vessel to prevent a hydrogen explosion. But it appears that the nitrogen could be leaking out. I didn't fuck it up. You probably didn't fuck it up. Tokyo Electric Power Company has injected more than 200 cubic meters of nitrogen into the containment vessel since Thursday. But it says the pressure inside has hardly changed, so nitrogen could be leaking out from damaged areas. But they, whoever they are, they fucked it up. Now it's fucked up. TEPCO is also having problems with a system that decontaminates highly radioactive water. It had to stop the system for nine hours on Friday to release air that was trapped in a pipe. And it says the system is still working more than 20% slower than necessary. I can't unfuck it up. You probably can't unfuck it up. The nitrogen injection and the water decontamination are vital for the first step of TEPCO's plan to get the plant under control. And if we're counting on them not to unfuck it up, then we're all fucked. TEPCO's deadline for completing the nitrogen injection is July 17th. Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. I'm bringing you a tropical update for today, July 15th, 2011. Please bear with me guys, this is going to be a long video. We're talking about a major typhoon that may be heading towards Japan. We've got a lot of problems already in Japan with the nuclear situation. We're talking about thousands of people, millions of people out there that may be affected by this massive storm system. So first things first, get the information from the JTWC, talk to you about the position and location top left hand corner of your screen shows the warning number 18 position 20.8 degrees north 139.6 degrees east location about 270 miles south southeast of japan movement 275 degrees west at nine knots maximum winds are currently at 105 knots gusting to 130. this storm system is equivalent to a category 4 hurricane at this time again this storm is very massive in size and has a lot of uh, rain and showers and thunderstorms all, all the mixture above especially right now we are seeing snow in this typhoon yes that is correct we're seeing snow and I'm gonna bring in the satellite imagery which shows a radar loop and as you see this radar loop there is a white uh, color shaded area in the center that's actually snow so it is snowing in this typhoon this is a microwave satellite imagery which detects large snowflakes above the freezing level in these extremely tall clouds. These clouds are very tall and are producing snow showers. Okay, now here's where you come in. You don't have to sing. Just turn to the person next to you and ask them nicely. Did you fuck it up? Go on, ask them. How about you? Did you fuck it up? Now sit back and look at them and say, because you look like someone who could have fucked it up. Now 
now it's fucked up. So, this is a very serious situation. Now, I'm going to take a look real quickly at the path of this storm system and show you that according to the JTWC, this storm is going to continue to move west and sometime in the beginning of next week or the middle of next week, this storm will veer north and continue on to uh, take a path into Japan. So, we'll watch this very close for you guys. And we got another system out here, which is Tropical Depression 09W or Tokage, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And this storm system is right near our massive typhoon, and it is moving east directly into its path, but we'll continue to watch it and give you any more information that does happen with that uh, tropical depression. Here's another satellite image of Typhoon Mayon. Again, this is a very massive storm with a very centered eye, very well-defined eye, as you say, and very tall clouds in the center, which are producing the showers, our snow showers, in the center of the storm system. So again, guys, very serious situation looking bad for Japan will continue to keep you updated and Japan's science minister says the government may have to abandon the development of an experimental fast breeder nuclear reactor the government regards the Monju project in Fukui prefecture as a next generation nuclear power plant and hopes to put it into practical use in about 40 years Science and Technology Minister Yoshiaki Takaki told reporters on Friday that it's natural to discuss the future of the Monju project in light of the Fukushima crisis. Now let's pick ourselves up off the floor and create a tone of camaraderie and ask, could you help unfuck it up? The issue of whether to continue or abandon Monju should be discussed in terms of Japan's overall energy policy. The conclusion will come itself. Located in Tsuruga City, Monju has been suspended since last August due to a technical problem. The trouble occurred only three months after it resumed operation following a 14-year shutdown caused by a leakage of sodium coolant in 1995. And say, are you really so fucking busy? You can't take one fucking minute to help one fuck it up. <laughs> then lose the righteous asshole attitude and take a breath and say, because I'm willing to pick one thing to help unfuck it up. Won't you join me? And we're now receiving reports of yet another oil leak off the coast of northeast China. The problem is that you just can't help feeling bitter that it's fucked up to begin with. The third oil spill in six weeks, it's leading to a slew of public outrage. Here's that report. A new oil spill in China on July 12th. It happened at a drilling site in Bohai Bay off the country's northeastern coast. According to the company China National Offshore Oil Corporation, a leak spread crude oil over a small area. Production has now been halted and there are plans to soak up and chemically disperse the slick. The control issue itself has reportedly been repaired, but the oil is still leaking. China's largest offshore producer has now had three oil spill incidents in Bohai since June. A serious leak on June 4th has now polluted 300 square miles. That leak was not made public for three weeks, leading to public outrage. Another platform developed a leak on June 17. The continuing trickle and slow cleanup at both wells has prompted Chinese authorities to demand a halt to crude drilling and production. Part of the drilling projects are run by the American company ConocoPhillips. Back with me now, I didn't fuck it up. Let it out, come on, you know you feel it. You probably didn't fuck it up. You don't have to believe it, just go with it for now. But they, that's right, shift the blame, they fucked it up. Now it's fucked up. <laughs> 